Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus might then speak out how you destroyed her life. You pushed them away. How did you destroy her her relationships? You made them what? You made them go. How else did you destroy her life? How did you destroy the life? Demons, speak out. You're in the reign of liberty. Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. How did you destroy her life? She's angry. You made everybody go away. Are you talking about their family? How else did you destroy her? How did you destroy her finances? You spent it. How did you destroy her health and everything else? You gave him drugs. Are you the one behind drugs? How did you destroy her career? Anger. You gave her anger. And what does that anger make her do? I can hurt people. She can hurt people. Hurt people. You evil spirit with all your power. We begin to right now command you. Holy Ghost. Fire in Jesus mighty name. Anywhere you are in her life. We command you come out of her life in Jesus mighty name. Holy Ghost. Fire in Jesus mighty name. Anywhere that you are hiding. You anger. You evil spirit. That destroy her relationship. Holy Ghost. Fire in Jesus mighty name. I just felt a lot of tingling in my body. It just, everything got really hot and my whole body was shaking on the inside. I, I felt like something was suffocating me. So is it you that was speaking out that you're angry and you pushed everybody away from your family and all that? No. So it was a demon that was speaking through you. How do you feel now? Do you believe that God Almighty has set you free and delivered you? I feel very light right now. I feel like a, a weight was lifted from my shoulders and you believe you've been set free I do come on put our hands together for Jesus Christ why don't you raise your hand just say thank you Jesus thank you Jesus we welcome you to the prayer with anointing water can you please tell us your name and where are you from my name is Caitlin Schneider and I'm from Portland Oregon Caitlin can you tell us what were the reasons that um, you wanted to come to be prayed with anointing water uh, my whole life I've had an uncontrollable rage inside and depression and suicidal tendencies. I uh, got to the point where I was, I couldn't maintain a relationship and it's hurt my family a lot. So it's time to end that. And what were the some of the issues that you were struggling with, ad some addictions? I've... I've looked to marijuana as something to uh, make the anxiety and the anger go away, something to even me out, I guess. Uh, and I've smoked cigarettes on and off for the last eight years for the same reasons. And can you tell us what happened to you at the prayer line this morning? Uh, well, I remember thinking that nothing was going to happen. Um, I remember hoping that that something would happen so that, uh, you know, I could get some relief. Um, but I remember I didn't think anything was going to happen, and then all of a sudden my whole body started tingling and burning, and I felt very uncomfortable. It was it was like anxiety times a million. I, I can't explain it. Um, and then it was gone. Um, we know that when you were at the prayer line, the evil spirit spoke through you. And I just want to mention a few things. Can you confirm anything? He said that, um, that he would made your family go away, that um, drugs destroyed and destroyed career, anger. He also used anger to hurt other people. Can you confirm anything that was happening in your life that the evil spirit spoke through you? Uh, well, definitely I uh, do look to marijuana as a drug um, to numb myself. Uh, making people go away that... I think that's what the anger was. I, I remember I used to be able to feel myself saying to stop, and I couldn't. It was like I was a little ant, and something was controlling me. Um, so definitely, like, torched every bridge that I've walked over. Um, all my relationships have ended badly. And how do you feel right now after being set free? 
Uh, well, I mean, I I feel like a weight was lifted off me. I before it felt like like saran wrap was around me, and now I just feel like a feather. Do you believe that Jesus Christ has put an end to every issue and every addiction in your life this morning? I do. Yes. And we encourage you to walk in the in His Word, and we encourage you to spend time with God, so this deliverance and this um, healing will stay permanent in your life. Thank you, Jesus, for my deliverance. <laughs>